To answer the thumbnail first, yes, I think garage tours are dead. To explain my thinking, we'll roll the clock back to 2021 when I decided to make my first garage tour because I was really inspired by Digital Car Addict. I had no idea you could move cameras around like that, make nice musical tours. I did my very best with the collection that I had at the time. Got a lot of views. I'm putting a table down below that will fill with the statistics. And that buoyed me up. It made me start my small channel. The next garage tour was, of course, quite a bit longer because there were now more garages, there were more cars. And I expected similar views, hopefully, but no, they were down to about a fifth of that. Undaunted, I did one this year. Now, I could talk for the next 15 minutes on what it takes to make a garage tour like that, how much work actually went into that. And we're just standing at a few thousand views. And we all know that the bulk of the views come at the beginning but this video is not a woe is me, why haven't you watched my garage tour? Because you probably have watched it if you're listening to this. No, I want to try and analyse why are my viewing figures down? Why his digital car addict who does such wonderful videos, why has he never done a garage tour since 2021? I think it comes down to two things. The first one is quite simply the work involved, which I've already referenced, and I helped a little bit this year by removing my movie cars from my garages, but it's still a 300 car tour. Tours this long, and I think 25 minutes or so, you have the second problem, which is audience retention. We're living in an age where people want to do bite-sized videos for so many things. They want to just rush the content through regardless. I know that's not everybody, but it is a lot of people. It fits in with their lifestyle, of course. And... I can imagine a 12-minute garage tour. It's not bite-sized, but if you're going to see hundreds of cars, that's not too long. By the time you've doubled the length of that, not many people will watch it. Now, if people don't watch it, YouTube says, aha, bad audience retention. This video must be boring. So, of course, it presents it to less people, less people see it, and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy that that video does not get many views. Because every aspect of these long garage tours ends up adding up to hundreds of hours, they are, of course, untenable really to do, whether you're doing them for love like myself or whether you're doing them on a monetized channel. It's just really got too much now. So I am never going to make another full 300 plus car garage tour again. I don't suppose many people will, certainly not if they're doing a quality experience. It's led me to think about my channel in general, what offers value, what does not offer value, and where we go moving forward. So let's have a look at that now. Well, firstly, let's look at the plus side. I haven't been able to do so many videos recently apart from the deep dives because I've been away a lot. But while I have been away, I have spent lots of bits of spare time on the internet looking up new builds for the cars. And in fact, I've had time on my laptop to make a lot of those. And... Around half the cars in my garage are now completely different what they were, and I'm working towards a number of very different collections, not just all supercars or all Ferraris, but unique collections, something with a bit more difference and interest in them. And as always, I'm trying to find those unique cars that have a build that make you sit up and go, really, somebody made that? I want to show you these cars, I want to show you these collections, but in a way that works for both of us. My thoughts are to make much smaller garage tours, still with some nice music and still something that you can chill out to. An example would be my recent pink JDM car tour, if you took the first part of that prior to the deep dive. That's more what I'm thinking of doing, something of a manageable length of 10, maybe even 20 or 30 cars. And I'd really like to know if this is more the sort of thing that would interest you and that's how you can help me by commenting below not just answering any questions I pose on this video but any thoughts at all you have on the direction of this channel of, of this sort of video what you'd like to see the main purpose of my channel is of course to inspire you with your own garages to show you some real world cars you may never have heard of and for you to say hmm I'm going to build that on mine. Thanks, Retset. That was great. Now, I think my build videos work very well in this regard, and I think that the new series Manufacturer's Catalogue is also doing very well. I don't intend to change those. I started my channel with reviews. I've got one going in the background now, and 
course, they were a major part of it. But I think if the truth be known, if you stripped out the fluff and you stripped out the review, the thing that interested me most about the car that I was showing you was, of course, a specific build for that car. And I don't think I'm going to do reviews going forward, or not very often, not unless they're very timely for a brand new car that has come out. Because at the end of the day, unless I've got something unique to throw into the space, we have some very good reviewers like Harm None, Digital Car Addict, or one of my subscribers, GTA The Wrong Way. They're all doing reviews pretty much the second the car comes out, and that content is already there. Now, I'm fully aware I'm doing my reviews in a different way, taking a long time with Rockstar Editor, often adding some music, and making some cinematics, and doing it differently, taking my time over it. But overall, I think this is a lot of effort that is sort of wasted in many cases. You'll note, if you look at my channel, the only reviews with high viewing figures are good cars that I'd reviewed within days of them coming out. Now, I originally thought deep dives are a good idea. Let's take the garages and show people the photo of the car that actually inspired my specific build. Pass on the crew colour, maybe some interesting facts. But they seem to have headed off in a weird direction, and I seem to be reviewing every car in GTA. I'm not too sure quite why I'm doing that, and it wasn't my intention, and it's made them far too long. I'm now 11 minutes from my Sunday deep dive going live and I'm going to pull it. I'm not going to let it go. It's another 12 minute long video that simply doesn't need to be 12 minutes long whilst I review every car in my garage. Yes, I'm afraid we've reached the terrible state where I'm bored with my own deep dive videos even. So I'm going to put this video up in its place at some point this evening and I'll work on the deep dive one again. I don't want to leave you without one. I'll try and get it out quite quickly. And from now on, I will continue the series of deep dives because I promised to, but trying to run through them much, much quicker. But again, let me know down below, do you even watch the deep dives or are you just happy with the garage tour? Are you just happy with the builds, whatever? Well, if I waffle on much more, this is going to be as long as the deep dive I just pulled. So in summary, I'm going to try and push this channel more towards the builds, more towards short garage tours that are more pertinent to the main purpose of the channel and to do rather little in the reviewing space, no more long garage tours. But again, I must stress, I love to hear what you have to say about this. I'm requesting comments on this video more than I ever have before. Not likes, not subscribes, just please let me know a bit. And as always... Thank you so much for listening.